Okay, we have a design challenge, okay? The goal of the design challenge is to suck up every single speck of dust that this machine creates, all right? We may not get to that goal, but we want to try to approach the goal, get as close as we can to the goal as possible, okay? Um, all right, so we have challenges. What are, what are the problems that we have in this scenario? What are, let, me, let's, let me ask, what are the tools we can use to help us re reach our goal? The vacuum. The vacuum, very good. What is a, an issue that we have that is a problem in this case? That we, uh, what is a sort of a challenge we, uh, we, need to, uh, we need to overcome? The dust. That is, yeah, the uh, <coughs> challenge is that the bit creates a lot of dust. What's another challenge? The way the hose is. No, we have a greater challenge, and the challenge is, is that the router blows the air down towards the table, which blows all the dust away out. from the vacuum. It blows it everywhere. It blows it up all into the air and everything. And it may actually be more air flow than the vacuum pad. So we need to figure out a way to eliminate that ch uh, that uh, that issue, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you think you could do to eliminate that issue? We have to modify the design in the vacuum. Uh -huh. Right, you have to modify the design, but in what way? I mean, right now what we have is we have a we have an attachment that can attach here and also attach this way. And then we can put a skirt around it, okay? But that's not sufficient. That's not gonna fly. Okay, so what how do we eliminate the the main issue that we're having? Which is the air going towards the table and the vacuum having not having enough suction to because of that. What are some possibilities? The router is going too aggressive? No, we could slow down the router, but that's not really going to do much. I mean, then we'd be routing slower, and we don't want to mess with the feed rates, we don't want to mess with the balance we've already sort of established. So what do we want to do? Get a more powerful button? That's one option, but it's, there's probably a better way to think about it. Okay. What, what can we do to eliminate the downward forcing air? From the stuff that we got here. <coughs> Yeah, with, um, you know, we have resources, and our resources, we have a CNC machine that can cut almost anything out, and we have wood, a material that we can use. We can try to design another mount for the vacuum? Yes, that's a, that's a good way of thinking about it. But let's not think about the mount yet, let's think conceptually, how do we eliminate the downward force of air from the router? And then we'll have another issue is we need to create a suction within the area of the bit and make sure that all the, all the bits of material go into the vacuum. So that's another issue we're going to have to address later. So what do, you need, what do we need to do to eliminate the downward force of air from the, the router? But the router needs to maintain the airflow to cool the router. What do we do? Housing for the router. Okay. A housing for the router. You said we have in that front for the airflow? Uh, well, I wouldn't say that. I, I want to hear something else. I want to hear another, um, another method. That's not going to do anything because uh, if you have a housing, then you, you have, let's say you have, you have the same amount of suction as you have the downward force of air, okay? You have the, that the CFM or cubic feet per minute is exactly the same, okay? Of, of airflow. So the pressure inside that case, that housing, would be zero. We want negative pressure. We don't want positive pressure. Positive pressure means that all the stuff blows out. All the dust blows out into the air. Negative pressure means all the dust gets sucked up. You know, do you understand what I'm saying? So, if the, the vacuum has more suction than the downward force of air, the pressure is going to be negative and everything inside is going to be sucked up into the vacuum. So we have to modify the design to, in order to create pressure. Negative to create pressure. negative pressure, right. But we cannot, but we need to eliminate the downward force of air to get pure pressure, pure negative pressure from just the vacuum. What is one way to create negative pressure? Eliminate the downward force of air. How do we eliminate And only have, that's what I'm asking you. We need to figure out a way to eliminate the downward force of air. Now, there's a key word that I'm using there, and that's downward, okay? Can we have two buckets? One that blows out the air and the other one that sucks in the air? Why would you want one that blows out the air? The router is already it's doing not that. Not the air, the chips. So once well, we already have something that could blow out the chips, but we don't want it. We don't want that. You know, in fact, yeah. an upcut bit like is blowing want... the chips up, which is a really good thing. It's blowing it towards the direction of the vacuum, okay, which is a good thing. The problem we have, is the downward force of air from the router 
for, for its cooling. It's got a blower inside. So it needs to cool itself. So there's, a, there's an immense amount of downward forcing air. Downward. Downward is... What's, a, what's another word for downward but 90 degrees? Uh, Upwards? That's 180 degrees. Sideways? Very good. Sideways. Okay. So you've got a... What's wrong with sideways? Or what's, a, what's wrong with upwards? Well, we don't get would, that, would that help the situation? Situation? Yeah, if you blow the air sideways, that means because the hose is upwards like that, if we have it sideways... No, no, that's a suction. We're not talking about suction. Suction, suction is... Well, suction can also be something that changes. I mean, we could have suction here, we can have su suction here, we can have suction here. This would be a bad place, right? Yeah. This would be a bad place because it's not really um, close to the, the chips. This would be a good place, but really it's going to get in our way because when our z-axis goes down, this is going to get crushed. Okay. So we can't really have it there. We're going to have to sort of maintain a location like this. So sideways. So we're talking about what? What's our enemy? Force. Blowing in. The air, the air being pushed out by the router because what, what, do you, what happens when you do this? Dust gets everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. When you blow. That's what the blower, that's what the router is doing. It's just blowing the chips out, okay? And it's blowing it so hard, this can't get any suction. This can't get any chips inside, right? It's blowing it all the way away. You understand? Yeah. Okay. Now, how do we overcome it? How do we overcome that problem? The enemy we have is the downward force of air, the blowing of the air. What do we do to eliminate it? Force. Force of air is going down. The other thing we're not going to be doing, just to give you a hint, is we're not going to be forcing it upwards. I mean, there are people that are doing that, probably take the blower or a fan in there and reverse it and then take the top off and, and allow airflow to go up top. That's another possibility. So really what we have as a, as a, as a, a cheap alternative is to make the air go sideways. Instead of doing the force downwards, doing the force sideways. Right. Perfect. Now how do we do that? Do we take this router and turn it sideways? No, we can't. No, we were not going to do that because then the bit wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although we could, that is a possibility. We could do that and then hook it up to a, um, um, a gear, uh, a type of a gear that would allow that um, transfer of mechanical motion to, for that to happen. Or we could take this and, and go upside down and hook it up to another spindle, and turning the spindle, and, and it would be going upwards. That's another possibility, and that's, that's actually a lot, what a lot of people are doing. But we're not going to be doing that. We're going to make something in wood that allows us to eliminate the downward force of air. Like air duct? Very good. Air duct is a good... Where, first of all, do you know where the, the air is coming from? From here? Right, but do you know what part of that router the air is coming from? From the top of the collet? Right here? Oh, it's there is it's the coming out of these holes here. Uh -huh. there, there are a bunch of holes. They're like slits, grooves around the, just around the edge of the housing yeah, I mean. that the um, air is blowing out of, okay? So, we, all, we know a couple things already. We know the size of those holes, right? Yeah. We also know that maybe creating a change in direction will cause some problems of vortexes and whatever with the air, and we may not want to um, do that. But we, but we want to still change the flow of the uh, direction. If we allow enough space that's larger than these, these slits, we should be fine. Can we put like a flat surface under here that has a, let's see, a flat surface that's gonna push this air into here. Okay, and how would we do that? Yeah, there you go, your hands are, that's, that's good. And we have space over here in the C-axis that we can have something coming out from here not this one, because we know that that was more. Well, we could use that, but we would have to modify it in some way. Okay, let me see. Watch that hole for the, for the back end. Yeah, let me see. And don't worry, you know, your orientation, you know, this thing can change location, whatever. So don't worry about where these holes are located at this point. Okay, what I will do is we get space in this mount mm -hmm. to make a flat surface 
that fits into the knot. Maybe another thing below it? Uh-huh. Okay. We still have room because there's a collet there's there, a collet, right? right? So we have room to and so easily Even if there was another collet, the existing collet that comes with this, mm -hmm. it may still have enough room there yeah. to house another part. Maybe not on the 892 series, but on the 2518, yes. Okay. The 892 series of Porta Cable, so we, may, we may have to do something else. It's also less power, so you don't have to deal with that much. No, or you, still have, you, still want to, you still want to eliminate. You still want to get to the goal of getting every single bit of dust coming from this machine. Okay. That's the goal. So, so the, really the only way we're going to be able to um, get to that goal is to completely eliminate the downward force of air for any router. Okay. So is that it? My idea is to modify this mount mm -hmm. and put another one right here. That's okay. gonna cover the. So how would you do that? Well, we have to design it. We have to design it. Okay. And play with it. Okay, let's design it then. 